I think Bagels, along with Blue, is one of the Phoenix up-and-comers. Blue, unfortunately, had to play Filthy Casual round one. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Round two winners. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of round two winners, this you should have recorded mine. Me versus Nate 10. Uh, yeah, was, you fucking should have. It was really good. We're doing, yeah, we're trying to do them all on stream. You guys just went and played off. I think they, uh, I think they wanted, they wanted us to not because they had, like, a bunch of people waiting on stream. Oh, right. Oh, all by right, the way, this is brutal. the last round two. Speaking of round twos. Cool. After this, we're going to, we're actually going to go to top eight, I think. But after this, it's going to be three out of five on winner's side. Because we agree top 16 was three out of five. Top 16? Yeah. Because why not? We're, we, we were stopping at top eight, right? Or are we going yeah, back? Yeah, we're stopping to top, we're stopping at top eight for sure. All right, so winners, semis, and whatnot for tomorrow, losers. Yes. All right. Oh, no. This is just awful. So, I'm actually really curious. So, the reasons on stream, the chat really wanted this. For some reason. I, I don't I don't have a problem, but um, I, this is this isn't I'm not saying it's a bad matchup. This is just not the sort the of only, you know. The only thing that I know about this matchup is that Two Jar and SoCal says that he likes fighting Peach and that Fair is really good. Okay. Luigi's Fair. Oh, that was confident. That was confident. <laughs> He's uh, a conf Bagel's a confident man. Yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. Is he like? Is he just trying to get that legitimately, or is he? Yes. He, he has he, other options, better options. Oh, he could be up smashing any up smash. Dude, Luigi's item throw looks really good. Yeah, it's it's quite good. Just up smash. Up smash. Up smash. Up smash. Luigi's head's invincible during that. It's not going to trade. I mean, not right there. Not like when when Peach is floating, you could probably just wave dash under, hold up smash. Once you get under, hit her because she won't be able to trade with you. All right, and he nares her to death. Hmm. You're just gonna yeah. let that turnip go away? I guess. This is his uh, his decision making. It, it just looks so strange to me. I don't understand. He's, he's, he's a newer guy. He's only he's been very playing since Sandstorm. Yeah. Usually yeah. I can tell when what the players are just gonna do, but he's. He surprises me consistently. Not it's not necessarily bad. It's yeah, just it sounds like a good thing actually. Yeah, if if you don't know if your opponent doesn't know what you're doing, that's 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 definitely an advantage as long as it's working. So after this, we're gonna have Sanchez versus I Punch Kids. Sanchez, I've heard good things about Fox him. Fox and Falcon. Falcon? Fox Falcon. Oh, because uh, I Punch Kids has trouble versus most Falcons. Really? Yeah, he gets upset by them all the time, all the time. Not as much foxes, because spaces you have to be so confident in your in the opponent, your understanding of their character. Right. Because if you mess up, you die. Because yeah. you're a spacey. You got to not mess up. You got to play <coughs> the best character in the game, but you can't mess up. Yeah. I was saying like earlier, it's sort of like a Wario Land and a Yoshi's Melee. Mm -hmm. They're the confident stages. Right. You can. If you are confident in the matchup, every time you win neutral, the damage is going to cost so much more. Matches go by so quickly. Every punish you get is going to be more meaningful on that stage. Every time you win uh, neutral, yeah, like I said, it's the stage for the confident. Because it'll take an advantage. It'll take a small play and turn it into a big one. So far, he's, uh, he's doing better. It's kept even. Mm -hmm. He's starting to figure out how to get past uh, Silly Kyle's wall. Of yeah. He's, he's going in more successfully. He's using a little more fair there. All right. Nice. Yeah. No. Oh, okay. Yeah, there wasn't really a chance that Silly Kyle wasn't going to float. There wasn't a, a ground option he would have done to punish right. that. All right. Now he's got a misfire stored up. Yep. See, look, that's like, he just like stands there for like a second. Yeah. It's so, it's like more confusing than, like, you know, dash dancing. One of the purposes is supposed to be your opponent doesn't know when you're going to approach. But like just standing there also does the same. <laughs> I think that's how they do it in Smash Ford. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Uh, well. The, at least he didn't get punished. He got yeah. back on stage for free, if anything. He should be a... Uh, 
I don't know if he knows, but he can like farm for misfires on the ledge. He knows. All right. I've seen him do that before. And he's got one. Yeah. And he's good now. That would have been a time to use you it. You keep misfires over stocks, right? Yeah. yeah. You do. Unless it's all star mode. There we go. Oh, really? Even if you... Yeah, because... Yeah, oh, cause God! It Jesus oh. Christ! And he didn't... Oh, God. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry! It was just really fucking brutal. If he died at 30. That's crazy. That's pretty crazy. He was doing really he was doing really well before then, you know? He was keeping it close. That really hurt. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, that's it. One thing he could have done is uh jump like up here at the turnip.